For this demonstration, I have provisioned a VCN with two subnets as shown. VCN is attached to the DRG and VPN is used for the connectivity between on-premises and OCI. VPN and VCN attachments are importing routes from each other. Let's dive right into it. Let's go to the dynamic routing gateway. Under networking, click on dynamic routing gateway. Let's go into the DRG. Click on VCN attachment. The default selection is advertising subnet SATA blocks. Now let's go back to the DRG to verify. Click on IPsec tunnel attachments and click on the route table associated with the IPsec attachment. Let's see the routes. Individual subnet SATA blocks are getting advertised to the VPN attachment. Let's verify this at the CPE. I have logged in in my CPE. Let's check the routes. We are receiving the individual subnet siders that DRG is sending across the VPN tunnel. Now let's go back to the OCI console and see how we can change this configuration. I am at the VCN attachment at the DRG. Let's click on edit. In the advanced options, click on the VCN route type and let's select VCN SATA blocks. Save changes. Now let's go again to the VPN tunnel attachment. And click on the route table associated with it. Let's check the routes. The DRG is sending entire VC insider to the VPN tunnels. Let's verify on the CPE as well. As expected, we are now receiving entire VC insider block. In this video, we saw how to selectively export individual subnet or entire VCN prefixes at the VCN attachment on the DRG. This feature is useful when VCN has large number of subnets, in which case customer's on-premises route table can quickly fill with the individual siders. With this feature, route summarization is not needed at the customer's end. To learn more, please visit docs.oracle.com. Thank you for watching the video.